Yo, welcome back to a new video. Spoilers are now out for My Hero Academia's next upcoming chapter 349. Guys, remember to hit the like button on this video, and it's actually kind of crazy that there's less than like 40 chapters left of the manga. If you remember, Horikoshi said he did want to end this manga this year, and he would be surprised if it didn't end this year. And I know I keep saying it every single week, but I will bring you MHA spoilers every single week from now on. The cover looks amazing, so far for the late, let's just jump straight into it and be sure to hit the like button. Yo, jumping straight into it, once again, Horikoshi delivers with an absolutely stunning Miracle cover page. It looks... Um, yo. <laughs> Horikoshi! Dude, the last Miracle one was amazing, and this one is even better. She's got the new upgraded, uh, like, arm. We also see Bakugo, no deck on the cover. It's just Bakugo and Miracle, and she looks really really cool uh the title of the chapter is battle flame and obviously there's only one person with flame uh spells anyway the chapter starts with deku actually flying across the ocean because remember the the plan backfired they put toga far away from the battlefield but the plan backfired when she snatched deku deku's now racing across the ocean uh, with the float quirk of the previous user, uh, All Might's uh, Senpai. And, yo, Deku is creating shockwaves. He's, like, he's pretty far off the water, but he's still creating shockwaves. This motherfucker has gotten really strong. While traveling, uh, Deku's actually talking to the past users of One For All. We see the dude that I can't remember his name that looks like Bakugo. Uh, talk to Deku, we then flash back to uh, the Toga versus uh, Uraka, and they have a conversation, and then the panel switches to obviously what the title of the chapter is, Battle Flame with Darby. Darby once again standing on the pillars where All Might stands right there saying, I was here, uh, and with the, obviously, I am not here anymore. Dobby saying some cool shit, Todoroki responding with some cool shit, we see more of Toga, we see more of Spinner, Spinner looks really cool, uh, we see a little of Shigaraki this chapter, and the chapter ends, it looks like, with Dobby and Todoroki about a clash, Dobby says uh, something along the lines of, I will show you my masterpiece, I'm not entirely too sure what he's exactly he's saying, there's not that many pages released yet, but we do have the summary, so let's check out the summary. So the chapter starts with Deku flying over the ocean with a combination of float and Fajin. He is moving forward using air force, flicking the air to propel himself. That could explain the shockwaves, I guess, but he's not as fast as he would like. There's also no spots in the ocean where he can call the black whip, so the fox 100% is also out of question. It is at this moment that the ghost of the second user appeals and tells Deku to not lose his composure. His current suit is not capable of withstanding the 100% power of one for all. Damn! Once again, Deku not being able to use one for all at 100%. So it wouldn't be wise to damage it. Before he even reaches the battlefield, Deku says that this was not in the plans, which makes the second ask if the plan to use his quirk, he uses the old term meta ability. Deku says yes, but the second user remembers that he had already asked Midoriya to consider that this is a last possible option. Now that his quirk has become strengthened by one for all, it has become much more difficult to control than it was before. It may not be not even Deku can conquer it and it will end up becoming a hindrance. The second then asks him to trust his friends and take the safest path, even if it means taking a little longer to get there. So obviously Deku's literally trying to get to where Bakugo is with Shigaraki. We cut back to the aquarium where Ochako and Sue comment on Deku's departure. Froppy feels relieved because she was he was there. Deku would not be able to ignore Toga's questioning. Soon after, Toga himself says that she had enough of the free UA students. She is going to become who she wants and live according to her common sense. As she says this, she puts her hand in her blood compartment and thinks, Is it that right, Jin? Ooh. Ooh. To close things out, Toga reaffirms her ideals. She says that she is Himoko Toga and that she doesn't need any more heroes. So it's time to say goodbye. Yuravati strikes a fighting pose and says that she will also handle this situation the way she 
uh, or Chuck Gold Rocker thinks is right. Dude, I, I do want to pause here. A lot of people were attacking uh, the Deku and uh, Uraka and uh, Toga fight last week. Or I guess it was the week before because MHA was on break. I don't know. I, 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 obviously, I binged the last few chapters and I didn't find a problem with it. I actually enjoyed that whole interaction. Uraka saying to Deku, be my boyfriend. It was kind of her like, it kind of felt like her one way of like trying to like maybe reform herself. But obviously Deku said no and quickly left. So I'm actually interested in this fight. I know a lot of you don't like Toga. I don't know. I don't know. Every she's gotten really weird recently with people not liking shit. It is what it is, I guess. The scene then cuts to Kamino where huge flame consumes the city. A giant gnome is creating huge needles from its body and expelling them, giving the heroes a hard time. Dobby is hanging from All Might's statue while smiling, saying that he feels nostalgic because this sea of fire reminds him of the chaos in Hosu. Ida becomes chaos across a spiral of flames and shouts Shoto's name. He feels that he will not be able to get any closer without his engines ceasing to run. So Ida is here. Obviously, we knew that already. Oh, it looks like they're going to have some troubles against Dobby. Dobby propels himself with explosion of fire at his feet and enters the spiral where Shoto, Kaido, Onuma, Burnin are. Dobby wonders if those sent to face him were only the youngest child and the three sidekicks. Onuma tells Kaido to stay away because his body has no resistance to fire, but he says he is fine because he's manipulating the trajectory of the air around him. That, like, that sounds really cool. He's been working for Endeavor for more than 10 years and will continue to give his all to live up to his expectations. At this point, the bands come off and we see a little bit of his face. Burnin says that they don't know how anything about the family situation, but they still trust Endeavor and for that reason are now here to help Shoto. The boy thanks them and then turns to the older brother, saying that he is there of his own free will and will not just because the plan ordered so. Dobby says that the only makes him a pawn of their father and the younger boy replies, there's no way he could continue to be a hero if he ignored his brothers. Yo! Todoroki saying there's no way he could continue being a hero if he ignored his brother's situation. I've been saying this for the longest time. Fuck Deku, fuck Bakugo. Todoroki is the best written character in MHA. And it's just, there's no question. There's no question. Toy then concludes that the whole war comes down to the personal issue and ideologies. It is the explosion of everything that has been built so far. He wants to change the current paradigm and destroy everything because he and the rest of the league are the living proof of the wear and tear on society. On this page, we see Toga Shigaraki and Spinner, who is more muscular and drilling while holding his sword made up of several blades. Shota asks why he has not returned home if he survived the fire of Secto Peak and Toy decides that it is finally time to tell everything that happened to him. The true origin of Dobby Todoroki. End of chapter. Yo, hello? Dude, next chapter is going to be Dobby Todoroki. Origin. Okay. Okay. Yo, um, yo, we are not missing spoilers next week. There is no shot. There's no shot I miss spoilers for next week. The whole Todoroki family situation has been the best part of My Hero Academia for me. I'm not very invested in Bakugo or Deku. I'm more invested in Todoroki and Uraka. So, yo, I'm I'm, in. I'm 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 all for this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Sim, as always. Peace.